everybody. Happy Saturday, August the 28th of 2021. Um, didn't get a ton of stuff done today, but I'm counting all of it as a bonus in progress because um, I was expecting to be on the road traveling all month. And so, um, as you know, that got canceled. Um, so just being able to be home is a big deal uh, to be able to do something. Plus, it is so hot, you really can't get a lot of work done. You kind of need to take care of yourself. It has been in the mid-90s. I think it has finally dropped a little bit. But with the heat index and the humidity, uh, we're well over 100. So I've had at least a case of water, which hopefully in the near future will come out of the refrigerator. Um, and would have done that today, but was focused on a couple of other things and I forgot to turn the water off before I called under the house. So I need to do that and just kind of drill my hole and then I'm good to go. Um, so super close on that. And frankly, I'm just grateful to have what I have. Um, and then I just kind of worked back and forth between a couple of things. Um, so the area here that you're looking at in the kitchen, you see there's a column here and there's a column there. Um, those are really just two two by fours nailed together. They should be three two by fours. So I will go ahead and fix that, repair that in the near future. But luckily this wall is pretty stable and I think that really speaks to um, overbuilding, right? Uh, so this is all shiplap and it's all structural. It's basically big sheer walls everywhere. So you wouldn't be able to get away with something like that doing it with today's um, kind of design. So excited to be able to just kind of make that quick repair and the idea is that actually this back area on the other side um, was probably a porch. So through that opening right there uh, is the, what I would call the original front door. It's a more formal door that opens out onto the railroad tracks, um, which would have been a very big deal back then. So that's probably where they received formal visitors. And then there would be a porch that just wraps all the way around. This door maybe not was not there. Um, at the very, very, very beginning, but was added very early on. And then that would have gone right out to the porch out there. So all of that does make sense. And then I've already been under the house and looked at the floor under here and it, it was, I think, dropped. So that all makes sense. Um, anyways, we're going to keep this a part of the kitchen uh, because it has been that way for a very long time. And that really works out for us too. But understanding that it does make more sense to know that there were probably windows right here between these two columns um, and so a sink underneath windows would have made perfect sense um, so we're actually going to put a sink back there anyways and, and i think this will be kind of handy um, the thing that i did was demolished a couple of the trim pieces so each one of these columns was kind of trimmed out with they would call it decorative, but it was naughty pine, so that really gives you a time period. <laughs> and it actually was well done, so I will give them credit for that. Um, you had to do a lot of shimming and stuff to really make that look right, and they did. And so applause to whoever did that previously. Um, so these were trimmed out, and then um, there was a fascia piece that was put across um, some trim pieces and a big old horizontal piece as well. Um, so all of that is down. No more naughty pine. Super excited to have that out of the way. And now what I'm left with is just on this side, which that shouldn't be too terribly hard to get off. Um, I'm really excited about getting the last of this pink jump board and the popcorn ceiling and all that kind of stuff down as well as the dirt over nest, of course, too. But I'm hoping to find underneath all of this a beadboard ceiling or some um, indication of that that would also just kind of lend itself to it being uh, the wraparound porch. This will obviously be a breakfast nook is kind of the plan here. Um, and that all makes good sense. We've actually got the table, the family table, to go into that. So super excited to be able to build around that one day. Um, but to do all of that, we had to get this big pile out of the way. Uh, this is not trash. This is actually um, just salvaged pieces, historic pieces of the house that I found in walls or um, pulled out from here or there when they made a change. They would take beautiful woodwork and just shove it in the wall like it was um, shim pieces, which is kind of heartbreaking, but hopefully it can use some of it because you can't get the type of grain and the type of wood um, today that was, was used on this house before. So i um, hoping that that turns out well. And then as soon as I get this pile out of the way, I can get the rest of the demo done in this area. Um, so super exciting. Yes, if you are wondering, windows are all wrong. <laughs> Not to mention they have bullet holes in them. 
not for me, but um, <laughs> they will actually go to about a waist height window. That would have been what was right. And then they actually would have had a diamond pattern across the top. So that will get rebuilt down the road. I'm thinking of some kind of creative temporary solutions for now because I kind of want to manufacture all of my windows at one time because it's going to be a huge undertaking. Um, but the other, really the big thing that I was working on today is right through here. And before you get super excited, we're not done yet, but super duper close. You're totally allowed to laugh at my strapping. That's okay, this is not permanent. So um, this is the pipe that I have been really stressing over. Um, so it is glued in place at the top. And then once I get above the floor, I have some more gluing to do, but um, that is in place. And so um, it should be ready to receive the toilet, which is the big four inch pipe that you see coming down. And then the little three inch piece that kind of jogs up and over that goes on to pick up a sink and then it goes all the way through the roof to vent. So really excited to make that progress. As you can see, this was just a booger to get everything to line up. Um, and that was kind of where I was stressed out about everything and why I had to do all the crazy strapping and stuff. Um, but when you're one person, you get creative and you do what you gotta do. Um, this part is glued, but then when we get down here at the bottom, I still have more gluing to do. I need to, hopefully tomorrow will be a relatively pleasant day. Just need to get up there or get under there and get everything to line up perfectly. It's about, um, about an inch and a half from where I would like it to be. I'll probably cut a little bit more out of the floor. Um, but in general, super close. Um, and you just wouldn't know that until you started really bringing all the pipes in place and kind of getting them nice and secure. So now comes the challenge of making these last few connections. And I'll be honest with you, underneath this area is a nightmare to access. So um, I'm kind of reaching over and under things and sitting in weird positions and not a fun thing to do, <laughs> but hopefully I gotta do it once. That's my hope, uh, or twice if it works, right? Um, so this has a clean out and that was strategic because my water heater would be here. It's going to need a flush um, every six months to a year, I can't remember, um, as far as maintenance goes to encourage doing that, put something really handy right there. And then of course, if I do have a clog, this would be a nice access for that as well. But I also have one already ready to go underneath the house as well. So lots of good access to be able to maintain that. And then I've got my water pipe. So uh, obviously not in place yet, but this will be my cold water line and then I'll have to convert it to uh, a thinner pipe to feed the water for the toilet. I'm hoping that when I go to home to the big box store tonight after taking a shower at mom and dad's house because I'm no longer having to quarantine, yay. Um, when I do that, I'm really hoping that um, I can find this one special piece that sends the pipe two different directions so I can make that connection, but they were out the last few times. So <laughs> here we go with that. So there may be kind of some temporary things done with this piping just so I can get water up there and then down the road, I'll go have, have to fix it and do something different. But um, you take what you can get in 2021. So uh, anyway, so this is still progress, not permanent, not finished, but um, well on my way. I'm super proud of that. Finally tackling something that I've been kind of dreading doing and certainly was a challenge to do as one single person. So um, anyways, I hope you guys have a really great Saturday and we will talk Sunday.